Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your man, the Dreadhead Ninja Bar Rodham is Black, coming back at you again today with yet another toy review. And today I got something I'm really excited to share with you. Today we got uh, Play Arts Kai Dark Side. Now, this is uh, Play Arts is a kind of a brand that I absolutely love. I love their sculpt work. I love the detail. I love the paint apps. I love everything about Play Arts Kai figures except for one thing, and that's going to be the price tag on them, right? Uh, but luckily, I was at the at a local comic book store this past weekend, and they had Dark Side up there for only sixty nine bucks, which normally goes for like ninety plus on eBay or any other retail site. So of course, your man had to go ahead and snatch that up. So I did. So real quick, let's take a nice look at the packaging on it. And sorry if the video's dark, y'all, because um, for it's getting ready to storm outside, and even with all my lights on, um, it's still just kind of dark in here for some reason. So, but yeah, here's the packaging. Um, that's where Dark Side would normally be, but I got them pulled out of the packaging already. Um, over here, we got some nice artwork from Play Arts. Um, beautiful, beautifully rendered. Gives you a little bit of information on this side about the character. Um, on the back, we got some ob obligatory uh, product shots, letting you see uh, what you're getting. And a bunch of stuff written in Japanese or Chinese or whatever. I can't read it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm on the back, we got DC Comics variant play arts action figure. Nothing on that side. A little bit of something, something on the top. Uh, yeah, that's about it. But it's really nice packaging, really nice artwork. Very beautifully done. Everything that play arts does, just they do it to death. It's kind of like um, NECA, but a little bit better. NECA but better <laughs> if that makes sense alright so let's go ahead and get down to the figure himself so here we got my man dark side so oh, sorry bump the camera <clears throat> let's get him off his stand so me and my boy Ian were just over here looking at him we were talking about it wondering uh, who we thought would win if it came down to dark side and Thanos in a fight and we both came to the conclusion that Dark Side would definitely beat the beat the crap out of um, Thanos if they ever went on a one on one. Personally, I think his laser eyes—I can't remember exactly what the name of them are called, but I know it's like laser beam eyes or something like that—would be enough to handle Thanos, in my opinion. But I mean, come on, Dark Side beats Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, all the Justice League, and in the movie, Thanos was getting his ass handed to him by Captain America by himself so uh yeah i think we already know who the winner of that battle would be if you want to though chime in on that conversation in the comments below and let your boy know what you think about uh that that mashup right there but personally i'm holding on to the ideal that dark side would definitely win that battle but anyways let's talk about the figure not about theoretical battles between two fictional characters right so up here we got the eyes and they're done in this iridescent beautiful almost i don't know what to call that but that glow and that red on the eyes is just beautiful against that gray and black crackled background of the skin. Then we also got the beautiful paint job on them. I mean, you got uh, that yellowish, goldish, mustardy type of color. Um, you got a nice little jewel right there in the middle of the chest. And believe me, if the lighting was right, that thing really pops and makes you want to look at it. Great abs. Uh, you know, it's all about the abs. Uh, great articulation, great figure overall. I mean, just the sculpt work in there is just amazing. Like, look at the back muscles through the armor. You know, you got all the musculature in the tricep muscles, the armor. One thing I'm not digging so far is how that separates in the back depending on how you pose them. But if you're only looking at them from the front, it's not really something you're going to notice too much of. But it does, it is there. It is there. Yeah, got these nice side skirts on them for the armor bits. But yeah, let's talk about the articulation of the figure. Let me back my camera out a little bit. And I'm um, shooting this video on July 4th. So if you're seeing this on the day I shot it, happy 4th of July. And if you're seeing it sometime after, hope you had a really good 4th of July weekend. Alright, so for the head... It's on as with like all Play Arts Kai figures, it's going to be on a double ball joint. There's one down inside the chest just below the collarbone. And then you also have one up top that also gives you additional range of motion. Shoulders, 
they're going they're on kind of a butterfly so you do get a little bit of back and forward not a whole lot because of the the the, the size of the shoulder muscle but you do get some back and forth movement out of there get about up to there play arts is one of those brands that you don't i don't really like to mess with them too much because they do feel like they might break and with the amount of money you spend to get these figures um, that's the last thing i want to see happen but yeah we got articulation and the shoulder up to about there so straight out not too much but you do get a full 360 spin out of that joint um i can't really tell if you got i don't think you have anything in the bicep like a bicep swivel which is kind of disappointing to me because there's nothing right there but you do have articulation kind of like a rebel tech joint right there in the elbow get the arm up to there got posability in the wrist uh, you have abdominal movement up and down up top as well as right here in the middle and you're also going to get your swivel as well so this is a pretty big figure and it's kind of hard to get them in frame everything all at the same time yeah all right on the legs all right got ratcheted leg joints gonna get you whoo that's a pretty wide range of motion I don't think we're going to get the full split, y'all, but we are going to get out to about right there. All right. Ooh, is that broken? Is that why I got them for, for so cheap? Oh, that feels really loose in there. Really loosey-goosey. I don't like that. But, yeah, uh, knees on a double ball joint. So, you're going to get all the way back to there on that double ball on both sides ankles you got all kinds of articulation in the ankles you got tons of posability coming out of there so yeah if you ever end up with one of these or if you don't collect them or are interested in collecting them um they are expensive but i definitely think they're worth the money but um i'm basically just sticking to collecting the justice league as of right now um the only ones i'm really missing is like hawkman superman um I don't even know if they have a figure out for the uh, for the Martian Manhunter yet, but um, but yeah, I got a lot of them. I got Flash, Batman, Batgirl, Supergirl. Um, I need a Green Lantern. I do have Aquaman, but yeah, I have quite a few. Got Cyborg for Christmas this past year, so yeah. But um, let me put him back in the stand. We'll take a look at his uh, extra accessories real quick. So he also comes with another head. Uh, that has like these um, blue energy lines coming off of it. Like his eyes are about to just blast you. And I think that's pretty much going to be the head that I'm going to put pose him up with. So let's see how hard it is to change that out. Ah. Oh, that was easy. All right, easier to get it off than to get it on. All right, I think I got it. So yeah, that's the that's how he's gonna be posed up, looking like he's just about to destroy some stuff. All right. Then he also comes with two set two additional sets of open hands. As you can see, he is currently rocking the closed fist, and we also have a left and right open hand. Give you a little, give you another option if you so choose. Oh, look at this, y'all. It's about to rain and my dogs are freaking out. So check this out. Oh, He's just trying to be close to me. <laughs> yeah, but that is uh, my dark side figure. I mean, I look forward to finishing off the Justice League someday, but I'm in no rush. This is a line that I can take my time collecting. And um, I don't have to feel like I got to get it all right now. It's not Pokemon. I don't got to get them all. Um, I can just take my time collecting them. But yeah, so um, I want to thank y'all for joining me here in my living room once again, checking out my newest toy, um, taking out a few minutes to talk about it. I do enjoy sharing my videos and talking to people online and sharing the hobby with other people. Uh, I met a few really good friends. So now nah, I don't say good friends, but I met a few good acquaintances so far on here that um, I, I think that the relationships will continue to grow and bloom. So we'll see how that goes. But um, on that note, man, y'all take it easy, be safe out there, and as always, peace.